Hey everyone, welcome. You guys know that if you buy a Trek or specialized bike today, you're gonna get their in-house tires. In case of Trek, you're getting the Bond Trigger and I do have a few videos looking at their XR line of tires. This year I bought a Stump Jumper for my wife and it did come with the Butcher up front and the Purgatory tire in the back. Finally, the chance for me to take a look at their tires. So let's get to it. Specialized introduced this new rubber compound and casings in 2021. And in case of a purgatory rear butcher front, we are usually talking about a trail tire combo. And if you look at this table, which by the way, I don't take any credit for, you can see where they stand in their overall tire lineup. All these tires comes with what Specialized calls Gripton compound, which is actually used by Rode as well. And in 2021, they introduced this T5, T7, T9, trying to give us an idea of what kind of grip, dampening, and roller resistance we're gonna get from their tires. And while that T5 is considered to be the hardest rubber, but with the best rolling resistance, what we're getting here on the Purgatory, for instance, we're getting a T7, which is more of a trail type of rubber. And in case of the Butcher, this is the T9, which is the softest rubber compound that they offer. Lastly, the type of casing and sidewall protection is specified right here in the middle. You see these tires come in, both of them, in the grid casing. You look at that table again, you're gonna see these are smack in the middle of their offerings. And that provides us with something very close to the Maxxis EXO for those of you that are familiar with the Maxxis line of tires. And just like with other tires, you're gonna see more information here on the sidewall. Tubeless tells you that these are tubeless ready. Pressure 25 to 50 PSI's. These are specialized tires. And here is gonna tell you again, this is a Butcher tire 29er 2.3. But why don't we take a closer look at the thread pattern of the Purgatory and the Butcher. It's easy to see that these are directional tires. Make sure you pay attention to that rotational arrow on the sidewall. And again, with the naked eye, you can see how Purgatory knobs are definitely not as tall as Butcher. This is a very aggressive tire. And it's interesting to see how these tires look like they're a mix of other manufacturer's designs. As you look at the Purgatory here, doesn't this resemble a uh, Vittoria Mezcal? As for the Butcher, the center knobs look similar to a DHF. You look at uh, the cornering knobs, these look similar to what Schwalbe would put out with the knobby nick or so. So do these tires look like anything that you've used before that was not called specialized? Let us know in the comments below. I have these tires inflated at 25 PSI on these specialized rims, which are 30 millimeter ID. And these tires inflate to a bit over 59 millimeters. They were supposed to be 58. And if you look carefully, you're gonna see how the casing maybe sticks out a tiny bit more in case of the purgatory. In case of the butcher, the side knobs are perturbing out a tiny bit more. Again, the width of this is no different though. So here it is, 59-ish. Uh, Purgatory center knobs are right at three and a bit millimeters. As for the butcher, this one is probably like a millimeter taller, right in the middle. Cornering knobs, the side knobs, here it is at 6.9 millimeters. Man, that's a lot. <laughs> and Purgatory is at 5.8. So again, only about a millimeter difference. Again, this is not super scientific, but you guys get the idea. These rims are 25 millimeter in height. So if I look at the height or the balloon of the tire, 78 minus 25, so that's like 53 millimeter tall here. And Butcher is the same, about 53, 54 millimeter height on top of that center knobs. So pretty much the same volume tire, great pairing front and rear, more aggressive thread pattern up front, less aggressive, better rolling in the back. It's a bit crazy how just by hand you can feel the difference between this T9 and T7 when it comes to how soft is the rubber compound. The T9 feels softer by hand one last thing that I wanna look at is definitely the weight of these tires. And here's the butcher trying to balance it on my scale. 
975 grams or so. As for the Purgatory, this comes up to about 880 grams, which is heavier than the 810 mentioned on their website. And if you're wondering, the Maxxis tubes that these came with are over 200 grams, like 210, so pretty porky as well. So the weights are not bad and definitely in line with what you find in the marketplace today, but I'm not really that happy that the mountain bike tires seem to become porkier these days. And remember, this is with that grip casing. As you go up that list, you're gonna add grams to these tires. And before I had the chance to publish this video, Specialized just released a new thread pattern for the Purgatory. You can see it here, the new thread pattern on the left, the old one reviewed in this video on the right. If you look carefully at the new one, it's definitely way more aggressive, maybe similar to a DHR. I guess I'm gonna have to do another review when I get my hands on one of these. In doing my research about this uh, specific pair, I found all kind of opinions. Some people that actually love the combo, some people that use purgatory front and rear, others that complain that the sidewalls are too soft and even with an insert, they will burp really easily. In a touch test, this is no different than an EXO from Maxxis, like I said. What is your folks' experience? Have you used Purgatory and Butcher as a pair? Have you used the uh, Fast Track Ground Control as more of a cross-country pair from Specialized? Let me know in the comments below. We haven't had a chance to ride this whatsoever, but we plan to do so hopefully by next spring or summer, we can have a bit more meaningful conversations about the Specialized uh, tire combos. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And until next time, hope to see you folks on the trails. Cheers, guys. Cheers.